Hey YouTube, I'm Derek. Welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to install a toggle switch onto your lawnmower in the event that your engine brake cable broke or maybe you're just sick of the lawnmower shutting off every time you let go of the, of the lever. If you like this video and it helped you, I hope you'll consider subscribing to get more content on small engine stuff and all sorts of DIY projects, welding and things like that. So. If you liked it, hope you consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up, thanks. So first, I'm just gonna get rid of the old engine brake cable and just completely remove it. So on this lawnmower, I'm actually going to leave this uh, plastic piece that the old cable housing ran through uh, because I'm gonna run the wire through it uh, just for a little bit more finished look and a good place uh, just to hold it and direct the wire on where to go. Yours, depending on the model of your lawnmower, this might not be helpful to leave it on there. But on this one, I'm going to leave it on there. So all these are going to be a little bit different and I can't uh, tell you exactly how yours is going to be but basically this mechanism here creates the electricity that runs down into your spark plug and creates a spark in your engine. Essentially what we're doing here is putting in a toggle switch to instead of grounding out the electricity to your spark plug and shutting off uh, the engine by starving it of a spark we are going to run it to a toggle switch that we can switch and ground it to the lawnmower. So in this case, I'm just going to remove that wire and <clears throat> I'm going to grab my wires and start running from there. So for me, I'm going to add some connectors that just crimp on and I heat up with my heat gun and they, the plastic heat shrinks and closes up on the wire and leaves a nice finished job. So in this case, I got this from Harbor Freight. You can pick these up at really any uh, hardware store as I'm sure you're well aware. So I'm just going to snip it off right here at the end, grab my wire strippers, find the right size, so hopefully I explained this well enough. You're going to take this little wire that comes off of this mechanism here that creates the spark. You're going to take the small black wire, not the spark plug wire, and that's the wire you're going to be working with. So here I'm just going to take this little joint connector, slide it on in there, and hang on to it. Now I'm going to measure from here to where that toggle switch is going to sit. It says 40 inches, so I'm going to cut it at about 48 inches just to give myself some slack. So now I'm going to clean this wire off. Twist it up a little bit. Slide it inside, make sure they're both inside really nicely, but not coming out either end too far. And I'm just going to crimp it. You don't have to try too hard, just give it a nice little crimp, otherwise you'll break through it and go too far. That's a pretty good solid connection, I'm not going to pull on it too hard, but I am tugging on it a little bit and it's good. Now I'm going to take a little piece of heat shrink tubing from this end and run it down over that connection where I will then heat it, shrink it later. Run the wire through my little piece here for looks and for support. Plug it back in there, call that good. So here's your toggle switch. I bought these off of Amazon. I bought a whole slew of them uh, for $1.50 a piece. There'll be a link in the description below and uh, it doesn't have to be a piece of square tubing, 
but this is going to work just perfectly for me so it's a piece of scrap and the switch actually fits up inside of the holes that are already drilled just perfectly um, I have this laying around it cost me nothing um, but I bought a bunch of these because I do this uh, for a little bit of side money I repair lawnmowers and things like that and this is something I commonly do for customers who have older lawnmowers where it's harder to find parts especially those engine brake cables So now I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole right about in the center of this for mounting. So I dug through my hardware kits for a little bit and you'll just have to find what you have or go to the store. But I've got a little bolt here. It'll all just depend on what you have and what size you're doing. But I'm just going to take the bolt with the little washer run it on through try and do it on camera run it on through the inside of this and I've got this open hole on the uh, lawnmower and I'm going to throw the washer on the other side Get it started so it doesn't fall off and put a little Loctite on it so it doesn't ever vibrate off. Grab my 8mm wrenches and tighten her up. I'm going to run my switch through. So one thing to note is that if you buy the toggle switches that I suggested, they have these little on-off plates and they have a little uh, needle sticking out. I don't know if you can see that to direct so that the toggle switch has the correct on-off switch uh, position. This is actually going to be the opposite. You're actually going to have it's actually on is going to be off and off is going to be on basically. So I'm going to grind that little piece out, uh, file it out and then uh, put it on backwards so it's the right way. Doesn't take much. Should be good enough. Now I'm finally going to put the little retainer cap on there. You can put some Loctite, some thread locker on there if you would like. I'm probably not going to in this situation. I'm going to grab some pliers and tighten it up. So now we've got on. You'll leave this on and off is where you'll Push the toggle switch if you want to shut it off and then you can just flip it back to on so it's ready to go next time you pull the pull string. So there's two things that make the engine turn off on this lawnmower uh, and pretty much all lawnmowers. That's going to be this spring that pulls this brake up here on the flywheel and stops the motor and I think it's supposed to, not I think, it is supposed to start the motor quickly or stop the motor quickly as well as the wire that's going to cut the uh, electricity off to the spark plug so that there's no spark so basically you are getting rid of some safety here and if you're going to do this i have no responsibility for what may happen if you stick your foot under here and the lawnmower keeps going that's not my fault you are doing this at your own risk you cannot come after me for it. So I'm going to take a hook here and remove this spring, hopefully. This is definitely going to be one of the harder ones I've ever had to do. 
I'm just going to do this out of frustration because I've already spent a bunch of time on it and I'm done. Now I've seen some people say that you need to put a spring on this pushing it back, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. In my experience, you can just get away with removing it and uh, just pushing it off to the side and it'll pretty much be out of the way. So now <clears throat> I'm going to take my pack of zip ties here and I'm just going to start zip tying this up nicely. Now to my knowledge, it doesn't matter what uh, wire you hook it up to because all it is is an interrupter switch. You can hook it up to either side and uh, should be fine. So I'm going to pull it right there and then add another butt connector. Hopefully you can see that on the camera because you're kind of zoomed out, but right there between these two wires. Grab my little butt connector and my heat shrink tubing. Get these wires crimped together. Decent fit. Slide my heat shrink tubing over for a nice clean watertight connection. Then with this excess piece here, I'm going to run a ground wire from here to this hole here. Actually, I don't even need that. I don't know why I just realized that, but I'm actually going to grab this yellow connector, which is too big for the wire, but it has to be big enough that I can still put it on this bolt here and none of them are big enough except for the yellow one so I'll just have to crimp it down good and heat shrink it good. I gotta drill that out a little bit. So now I'm gonna put this wire down in here get it crimped And get this knob back on here. There we go. Now the wire's on there pretty good and tight and it's clamped in and now it's grounded. So now all that's left to do is just grab the heat gun and shrink, heat shrink everything. I'm actually going to add a couple more zip ties here. And now I'm going to get it put back together and we'll test it out. Now I'm going to do a quick startup. Try that again. It's on and runs. Now it's off. So hopefully that was a good explanation. I did a lot of cuts of this video. Hopefully they all worked out all right. Uh, but yeah, that's how you install a toggle switch on your lawnmower. Again, you're going to want to do this if you. Uh, Basically, you can't find an engine brake cable to replace your damaged one. Or, again, maybe you're just sick of holding the handle down and you just want it to run when you have to 
bend over, pick up a garden hose, move it out of the way while you're mowing the lawn, and you don't want to have to restart it just because you let go. Um, in this lawnmower's case, the engine brake cable was bad. It also has this bad thing where it adjusts that much because of the slop at the bottom. I don't remember it doing that years ago, but it's doing that now. And uh, this was definitely just the easy, cheap, quick solution uh, to the problem. And it looks pretty nice. It's not, doesn't necessarily look factory, which is what I like to go for. Um, just real quick on the ones that I've done for actual customers. I have made the uh, switch housing look a little nicer. And what I'd really like to do is get two plastic plugs that fit in the end of the square tubing just so it looks nice and clean and uh, sort of uh, factory. But uh, yep, so that's how you do that. Hopefully it'll help you out. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe if you think you might like to watch these kinds of videos. I put them out regularly. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. Have a good one.